What's going on my beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Robert Anza and today, today we are talking about my most frequently asked Instagram wedding photo and it's this beautiful sparkler send off shot. Let's do it. <laughs> So in this video, I'm going to talk about the gear I use, the settings I use to achieve the photo, how to prepare your subjects, the couple or the people behind, as well as what not to do and the best sparklers on the market. Now before I get started, I just want to tell all you viewers that are watching for specifically camera gear, camera talk and strictly weddings, I do have two separate Instagram accounts and both of them will be linked below in the description. Now let's talk about gear and what gear I use. So in particular for this shot, this shot was shot on, shot, shot, shot. This was shot on a Canon 5D Mark IV um, and I paired it with the Sigma 35 millimeter 1.4 right here. Whoop. And I recommend something with a super big aperture to let in the most amount of light um, due to the fact that sometimes sparklers don't give you um, enough light for your subject. And this will help with having it blasting at 1.4 or the biggest aperture you can possibly shoot at. Now for all of you wondering what the settings were shot at, and I'll tell you. It was shot at 1 100th of a second, ISO 2000, and aperture 1.4, lending as much light as possible in. Now, if you're like me, I sometimes have jitters, or at this particular moment in time, it was late at night around 11 o'clock, and I was tired, so um, I made sure to lock in my arms really tight, and not move because one one hundredth of a second is a little scary for me but it worked so well and I, I tried to make sure that I wasn't moving at that time. Now I highly recommend if you can bring a tripod with you or even a monopod that you can flip you know the, the head over just for stability stability and um, I only say that because um, I was worried at that time before I even saw the photo and it came out mint so I took about 12 photos here uh, to get this one particular shot and it worked out so so well. So now we're talking about how to prepare the photo or how to prepare your subjects or the people behind, um, behind them during this time. Now you want to give your subject the least amount of movement um, so that there isn't blur or they're they're not out of focus because your camera might focus peak and what I told them was hold a moment that's super special to you you guys just got married hold a kiss if you can but hold it so that you're not holding your breath and that it looks super natural but I also at that time I hyped up the people behind them and I say this because there's only say in that shot, I only shot 10 shots and there's gonna be one in particular shot that's gonna catch you and you're gonna wanna edit it and it's gonna be perfect. And it's the ones that are gonna see the people in the background laughing or smiling. So I hyped up the background, I hyped up the group to say, listen, I only have one chance to get this shot. Once the sparklers are out, that is it. We only have this one time. So what I'm gonna get you guys to all do is laugh at each other, smile at each other, have a good time make a bunch of noise, I don't really care, as long as you guys are looking like you're having the best time of your life and this is the only moment that we can get this shot. So really take the time, make sure your couple knows where to stand, where, to, where they're positioned, get them to live a moment of a kiss or a laughter, don't get them to move as much and make sure, make sure, super important, to get the background or the people involved in the background of the shot to look super happy or laughing at one another and it will turn out amazing. 
let's talk about sparklers and what I recommend is getting and finding the biggest and baddest sparklers you can possibly get because the little ones do not cut it. They do not give you enough light and they don't give you enough time to prepare for the shots that you want to get. And I recommend during holidays, long weekend holidays, American Canadians, anyone else watching in this world, when you have uh, um, the celebration long weekends and they sell fireworks and firecrackers and sparklers, if they have big ones, stock up on them because you can either supply them for your couple for wedding shoots, you can use them for creative shoots, for engagement shoots, or you can sell them to other photographers that are looking for the sparklers because at that time, that is the only time you can technically find them. Online is a little bit hard, but I highly recommend if you can stock up on them, I'd recommend it. Do it, it's worth your while. So what not to do? It's funny because a lot of people don't think about this at the time and um, it came to mind in this particular moment when it's late at night, the event's almost done, people are having a good time, maybe a little bit of few drinks at the end and it's one of those things that you're giving sparklers to someone that could be slightly intoxicated and really ruin it for the party. By swinging sparklers it's super dangerous, this thing is lit on fire, it gives off sparks. Um, I highly recommend and talk to your couple at this time to really figure out who are the best people to give the sparklers to and I'm not just saying that because you know um, well I just worry for anyone out there it was a worry of mine you know flinging sparklers around with people who are intoxicated it's not something you want to do and to be pre more prepared for it is you talk to the venue and see if you can find a fire extinguisher for that just in case moment that something does happen or if it's going to happen, at least you're prepared to take the responsibility in your own hands to, to figure it out and make sure it's done and dealt with. I just wanna look out for all of you that are attempting it and the couples that are watching or anyone else that gets inspired for these videos, please take safety into your own hands and make sure that you're prepared at this time because fire, Fire and, and um, sparklers, are, they don't seem dangerous, but they can be dangerous. And I just want to make sure you guys know and are prepared. All right, that is it. That's finished. That's, a, that's all you need to know with the sparkler send off. Camera body, lens, what not to do, how to prepare for it and uh, the sparklers I recommend. Go out there, do it, attempt it, have fun, test trial errors. You're gonna have fun with it, I know it. And um, just remember, if you don't feel confident in doing this shot, make sure you tell your couple um, so that they're aware and that it, it is a harder shot to do and achieve. So get out there, have fun, let me know, tag me in all the photos of sparkler shots that you guys do and I'd love to see it. See you guys in the next video, peace.